Stubbs the Zombie is a game that released originally as an exclusive for the Xbox all the way back in 2005, where you play as, you guessed it, a zombie called Stubbs. This game is based in a retro-futuristic version of 1959, and our main objective is to help Stubbs get his revenge on his killer and reunite with his lover before death. Well, we do this by destroying the city of Punchbowl and eating the brains of nearly everyone who lives there. Well, sometime after its release, it was brought to both Steam and PlayStation Store with an achievement and trophy list to boot, so you've guessed it. In today's video, we are going to be revisiting this absolute classic and obtaining the Platinum Trophy for Stubbs the Zombie. Now, as this game isn't really narrative focused and more of a game you have to play to fully appreciate the story it's trying to tell, as well as the experience as a whole really, because of this, the video is going to be longer than usual as I haven't scripted out any of the story and instead are going to be showing you some of my highlights from the campaign as well as all of the trophy pops. Now to get this platinum, I've broken it down into a few steps. Step one is simple, just play through the game, complete it and enjoy the experience. Step two will then be to clean up any of the remaining miscellaneous trophies we never earned during our initial playthrough. Step 3 will be again to play through and complete the game two more times, once in under two hours for the Fast Zombies trophy and once on Insane for the Stubbs Otaku trophy. Finally, finishing with Step 4 that will involve grinding out a whole bunch of enemies to consume as many brains as we can until we get to a total of 2005 for the Cryptocurrency trophy. But anyway guys, with all of that out of the way, we have a lot to get through. Let's get into the video. In the world. <laughs> Get your hands off my weenie! Now that's my weenie, bro. Good morning. Is everything okay? He stole my hot dog. No, this was my weenie. Well, that wasn't very nice. Stealing isn't allowed in punch bowl. You have to give it back. Whoa. If you'd like something to eat, I can show you one of Punchbowl's many fine dining establishments. No, I want the hot dog. Something else, jerk. Go on. Get out of here. Okay, are we in? My hot dog. Press R2 or square to attack. Oh Here we go. Oh my! Looks like he's having some kind of brain seizure. We'd better find some way of relieving the pressure in his head. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. Press triangle to eat Ted's Whoa. brains. There we go. We got a trophy. One easy payment of. Uh, it's been 15 years. You ate. You ate your first brain. Was it worth it? I think it was worth it. Trophy straight off the bat, nice. Uh, yeah, I'd love the full tour. I can tell by the look on your face, you're gonna love punch bowl. I think I will too. We've got so much to see. I've got a whole data tape filled with 640 kilobytes of fun facts about punch bowl. I love that 640 kilobytes. It's gonna take hours to get through. There seems to be some kind of commotion. Oh, how how days have changed. But officer, we just started the tour. The tour's over. We don't want a sick bum in an ugly tie walking around on opening day stinking up the place. <laughs> Nor do we actually want to touch that guy. Ugh. Exactly. Uh, that's so not we're nice. just going to stand here nice and quiet. And you are going to get in the back of the squad car. And we'll all be happy. Well, I won't be happy. We're waiting. Tap, tap, tap. I guess you don't have any choice. Let's no, I don't. Go. I don't. There we go. Have that. Have that. And you as well, buddy. Oh, okay. Nice. The pressure. All right, buddy. I will. You're going down Unleash your flatulence. Okay. Okay, and we can just eat their brains. Okay, so it stuns them. That's cool. And our zombies are doing us a little, uh, a little solid as well. They're helping us out. No, no, I'm happy with my diet. Be safe, have fun, eat brains. Okay, so... Do we just eat brains now? He's our first victim. No! He killed my brethren! No! How dare you! There you go, you're going to take his place now. Okay, I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to go because we got a weird cutscene. Oh, I like how you can do that, but I don't know how that works. Need to make a quick getaway? 
The punch ball monorail is the best way to get around the city. Okay. Anyone else out of bullets? Yep. <laughs> oh, we got another trophy. That didn't age well. Complete the painfully slow forced tutorial. Oh, it wasn't painfully slow. That was very quick for a Welcome tutorial. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. <laughs> Too bad we're here. Oh, he's spotted. Let her come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Scandalous! <laughs> Guessing we just shoot crap. Everyone's dying. Everyone's dying. Oh, we got a trophy. Dirt cheap. Ten Sodomobile kills. Sodomobile kills. Nice. Another trophy out of the way. They're throwing them at us, this game. I feel like this is going to be like another Destroy All Humans situation where it's just like kind of trophy after trophy for like the vast portion of the game and then towards the end it's probably going to slow down significantly. I'm not too sure what we've done. I'm not too sure where we're going. Um, but I did come across a door down there. Come on, boys. Jump on. Can you jump on as well? I don't think they can. we got a buddy though. I did see another door down here, so we're going to see if we can now enter this one. Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. Nice. There they are. The barbershop quartet, we're coming. No, you're not. You are not bringing me in. I'm bringing you in. Welcome to the family. Use L2 to throw your gut. L2 again to detonate. Oh, okay. Wasn't that your pancreas? No, well. uh, I think it might have been. So we can uh, chuck our guts and blow them up. Nice. We're going to need someone on our team. I'm about to say. I thought no way is he alive and he's only got one arm. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, we got a, a trophy as well. Bust a gut. Trigger a gut grenade in midair. And he just tried to electrocute me. Damn, another trophy out of the way. What's that now? Our fourth or fifth one? We've had quite a few, and it's only been, like, what, 20 minutes. <laughs> We've had quite a few. We're coming. No, she's my woman now. Can I jump on their heads like this? Oh yeah, I can. 360 no brains as well. Land a jump tackle. Okay, nice. That's a, that's a jump tackle. I was trying to do that earlier. I realised that I could like jump and press square, but nothing would happen. And then I saw a little prompt there. So nice. I didn't realise that was going to result in a trophy. Filtrated this country so completely that even the dead have turned against us. Well, the Quaker State Irregulars ain't go without a fight. <laughs> the Quaker State Irregulars. Okay. <laughs> we got another trophy. Reap what you sow. Now you're getting the hang of it. I think I am. I think I'm getting the hang of the game. It's basically just kill zombies. I'm assuming with the objective of killing that woman. We have enough cash to cover. Oh, it. never you mind, sir. It's on the house. Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, it's my pleasure, officers. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> oh my god. Even they're like, what's going on? Hey, want me to look under the hood? No, <laughs> I need to use the restroom. Oh, it's uh, around the back. Yeah, go ahead. I'll try to keep from eloping with the car. That's it, our cover's blown. <laughs> you, we, you might as well join us now. You see this, boys? You see this in that classroom? This is what's going to happen to all of you. Oh. Yeah, when you wanted you to. Oh, hey, look, there we go. They've even got a wanted poster out for us already. Stubs. And they've remembered the little Siggy. That's what we like to know, uh, see. That is a key ingredient because if we didn't have that, then we're technically not Stubs. We could just be anyone. Just kill it, bastards. Oh. Oh, the spleen. Another trophy unlocked. 
Stun 10 enemies with your unholy flatulence. Nice, another trophy done out of the way. Again, I'm going to say it. We just keep earning these so quickly. Uh-oh. We got riot officers on us. Okay, nice. We can do... Oh, no. They took us. They took us. I thought we could deal with them. I'm so sorry, Stubbs. And now we get to play as the hand. Some, like, spider hand. You can climb up walls. Yes, okay. We can also jump. And he middle fingers when he jumps. No. Possessed cop. There we go. We got him. He is not killing us. Right, okay. So where do we need to go? We need to go and rescue ourselves now. Oh, we got a trophy. We got a twitcher. Boom, headshot. I'm guessing that's just for getting a headshot. Here we go. We found Stubbs. I mean, we took out the entire police station to get to him, but we found him. Oh, there we go. Another trophy. Don't be suspicious. Give Stubbs a hand. Nice. I'm guessing that's a story related one. Came directly to my office. It's much more convenient if I kill you here. You're about to learn you can't escape the long arm of the law. I told you I would dance in your grave and I Here we go. The infamous dance mission. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put any of this audio in the uh, in the video because it's all actual music. But let me tell you they are absolute bangers. We got perfect all that first round, nice. So I think there's five, maybe six rounds in total. I think we've managed to get perfect so far, which is great. I know there's a trophy link to it. We're not going for the trophy because it is that's just something we're going to do later. But if we can get it first try, that would absolutely be amazing. <laughs> it's going well so far. We've got the buttons. Got it right. I forgot the combination then. There we go. We're in the bonus round. I fucked it. I fucked it already. I fucked it already. It was going so well. I just could not remember the order. There we go. We're getting back. It would have been nice to have got that trophy out of the way, but it's annoying because it's not even hard, man. It's just, it's just, it's literally just the same four, the same four combinations, like the same four buttons twice in a row, and I just couldn't remember it. I don't. I knew it threw me off. I knew it was going to throw me off. I'm usually good with memory things. There we go, rock and parole. Do it for the meme. Another trophy done and out of the way. <laughs> nice, hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just had a fight with the uh, police commissioner. Okay, so we need to go to the parking garage, wherever that is. I'm guessing this big building right next to me is the uh, parking garage. But how do we get into there? That is the big question of the hour. Press L1 to bowl your head. Okay. And we can detonate it. Nice. Nice. That's going to come in handy. Clear out big, big uh, rooms of enemies. Although, to be fair, there hasn't been many rooms full of enemies. So I haven't really had to use anything like that. And my, uh, my uh, intestines, when I throw my guts, they, like, do more than enough damage anyway. 
There we go. Look at that. That got rid of loads of them. I try to find a use for it. I always use my guts. I always go with my guts, as you would say. But this time, I use my head. And we got another trophy. Next time, bring a map. We know what you did. Is that pretty much the mission? There was not really any goal to it. We just kind of made our way through a town. Oh my god, there's loads of them. It's like that scene on Red Dead Redemption. He comes out the barn and... Uh-oh, we're out of ammo. There we go. I'm sorry, you are getting shot in the back while I'm eating you. Come on, old granddad. You're coming with me. Defend this. Yeah. You defended yourself brilliantly. Absolutely spectacularly. Nice. Nice. So we can't eat you. Would have been nice to have him on our team. But we got the guts. Whoa. We got the guts. Have some of that. No. Oh, he got me. Can I fart? We can take his arm. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. We are actually eating. We just, we just ate through the plate. There we go. And we got a trophy. Cletus defeat us. Suey feeding time. Whatever that means. That was fun. I like that fight. And we actually did get to eat his brain. So he is now technically one of us. I know you won't fail me, old trusty Iron Steed. I know you won't fail me, trusty Iron Steed. <laughs> hey, you run us over. He's taking us with him. Nice. I we got another trophy, Dawn of the Dead. So many deals. There is. There was a lot of deals in that shopping centre. Knob cheese farm. Oh my god. Come on, get on the gun. We can't go anymore to the uh, left. That weren't very useful. If they were all in front of us, that would have been much better. Open up. It's the police. Well, you've got a really crap house. <laughs> like, you know what? Keep your house. I don't want it. You got no chair, no bed, what's going on? You just got some hay. Hey, we found some sheep. I wonder if we can make like a zombie sheep. No, we got Barbarian. You shouldn't pet the sheep. I wanna pet the sheep. I wanna make them into a zombie. That yeah, that's probably animal abuse. I should probably stop before YouTube flags this video. Someone's riding the tractor. We're gonna put a stop to that. Come here, Sonny. Don't worry, I'm saving you boys. Yeah. Have some of that. You think you're out in my boys? You f what are you doing to my mate? That's it. Get out of it. Oh, we got a trophy. Plowed up. Five tractor kills. Nice. Another trophy done. Out of the way. Still, uh, still getting them pretty fairly quickly. There we go. Listen, brothers, now we are going to storm the, uh, the main farmhouse and we are going to take all the brains for America. Yes. Brains, boys, brains. 
the assault begins. Boys, get out there. I'm gonna take him with us. Oh, okay, there's someone on the other side. Nice. Look, move. I'm so glad that's a feature that you can push them out the way. Like, they knew zombies getting in your way was going to be an issue. They thought ahead. No one gets away from Otis Monday. Not even... Oh, Otis Monday. That's... Isn't... You! Oh. Hi there, fella. Uh, long time. Oh, he killed us. Oh, come on then. Get your revenge, Stubbs. Hurry up. That's it. Have a little light first, of course. Go on, st yes. <laughs> Quick. Oh no, the sheep. Everyone's good. The sheep made it. Stubbs made it. Otis. I think he's passed on. He's fag. Oh my god. <laughs> That's brilliant. And we get another trophy. Unprotected whoopee. You look good in those jeans. Damn straight I do. Hey, we still got the sheep. Nice. Well done. Well done. You've done a good job, Sean. Ah, oh, he passed out. That's it. He's one of us now. He's a zombie sheep. He's a shombi. Uh, uh, Quick, Stubbs. Relieve yourself, man. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, use R2 to pee. Damn. Morning. Water contamination detected. Isolate. We just gotta contaminate all of this. Have some of that. Have some of that. We just killed the man with pee. Nice. Contamination level critical. Toxin detection system overload. There we go, nice. We successfully contaminated all the water. Stubbs has emptied the uh, emptied his um, bladder. He's a happy man. I'm a happy man. Really? He's really weak. And that is how you clear out a bridge. There we go, we've got a nice little stroll down to the end now. Get in boys, we're going on a trip. Okay, they're shooting our guys. We cannot have that. Yeah, you might want to move, Stubbs. <laughs> this is Chuck Chumley of putrescent water approaching the... <laughs> and there we go, we've got a trophy. I make a PP. Soil the water supply with your finely aged urine. Nice, another trophy. Okay, so... What was that? We have military about. If we can get one of them bad boys. Get off me, get off my head. 
There we go. We got a, a trophy as well. Obsessive Possessor. Possess each type of enemy once. Nice. My first trophy on for the day, and I've literally been playing for less than two minutes. <laughs> this is great. This is great. We're still taking this military guy with us because he has an assault rifle, and it's absolutely amazing. Spanky's famous wet burger, wet weenie, salty pickle, and a fountain of love. Oh, no! Nice. We'll take one of everything. Oh, including brains. Okay, we got mines. We're going to let them guys deal with those. I don't want none of that. We're going to chuck our arm. Oh my god. He killed us both. Dutch oven bakery. Jesus Christ. Everything in this game is an innuendo. To be fair, I feel like that's the case for a lot of like old games. Like everything's an innuendo. Get in, boys. Oh, trophy, sausage fest. Load up a jeep with the squad. Nice. I was just trying to get him back to this. Uh, we've only got one guy in here, though. I mean, I guess. Oh, okay, we made a big mistake. Forget the jeep. And we died. I've got a trophy, though. Unreanimated. You're a zombie that died. Okay, so we died for the first time. And we're back at a checkpoint and don't have any zombies. <laughs> it's absolutely imperative that you keep them out of the laboratory. This is the heart and soul of punch ball. I don't think they're quite ready for stubs though. Look at that. Jump behind him and got him. Absolute ninja. Point me towards the nearest bar. Ninja. Zombies sneaking up. Oh, uh, not so ninjury. Cover has been blown. Come on, boys. Get her down. No, 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 no. I need your every. Okay, we're finally down. We're finally... That took ages. I thought I needed more zombies, but they just wouldn't go over there. Looks like it was just... I just had to wait. Uh oh We got a tank. And we got a trophy as well. Arm hip darkness. Neither rain nor sleep nor bullets nor brains. Nice. For another trophy. First law of robotics, but I did die again. Get killed by a robot. I think we've got a big fight incoming. I'm getting the uh, arena kind of vibes. Boss fight arena vibes. How the hell are we going to take him down? Not like that. I'm dead. I'm just... I weren't too sure what to do. I think I get the idea now. I still don't understand how I'm supposed to do, like, any significant damage to him, though, with how strong that weapon is. I fear not Yes, is that it? Did we do it? I think so. I don't think so, buddy. Hey, what's a pup butt gotta do to get a little action around here? <laughs> Damn. That's the end of the doctor. And I think you kind of get. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> We got another trophy. Die, why die? Malzite. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. We got another one. Does this look infected? Eh, shake it off. I, again, I'm not too sure. I'm assuming they're story related things, but I'm not actually too sure. I, I assume it's just beating the boss, beating the mission. I love more than flowers and candy. And that's a man who brings me flowers and candy. Pick up some roses and truffles for that special someone today. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. Someone, please kill 
No. Stubbs is about to die. Stubbs is dead. I couldn't get off the machine gun in time. All of a sudden, like the last five minutes, I've just died so many times. I jumped out too late. And we got another trophy. Should have hid in a fridge. Get killed by an airstrike. Okay, I didn't even know that was a trophy. I'm just trying to get to the end of this. I just can't do it. I either die by the military, by the bombs, or just like that, by the airstrike. Hey, we made it through. Haven't died this time. Nice. We can get to the exit and leave. Have that. Yes, it's free. We can get in it. Yes. We have a tank now, boys. Have some of that. And have some of that. Do we have to blow that off? No. Oh, got a trophy. Tanks for the memories. Get 10 tank kills. Did I get 10 tank kills? I know I killed a couple of people that back there, but there was no way that was 10. Pistol Pete's. Flowers and gifts. Okay, we're picking up the flowers that we need. Fair enough. There we go. He's sorted. He's ready. And he's dressed to impress as well. And I'm guessing this is where we're going. City Hall. Yes. And we got a trophy. Meeting with death. Clear your calendar. There we go. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting back. We're getting back. It all worked out, dead man. Once hey, it's I him. Kill you, Maggie's heart will be mine. Oh, broads love it when you kill for them. <laughs> Let's end this. Mono a mono, just you and me. Come on, then, buddy. That's cheating. Can't have that. There we go. The big main man's dead. <laughs> that was easy. This is what you get. That's what you get. Be rude to me. I'm not even going to let you. Fair enough. You win this time. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, we don't want to eat you, love. That's got some flowers and chocolates. Those eyes. That nose. Yeah. That tie. Mother, get back. That thing has destroyed my whole city, and I won't let him do the same to you. Don't do this, Andrew. Yes. Get out of the way, mother. Take her. I love that zombie. Excuse me? <laughs> he was quite a man. I couldn't resist his charms. <laughs> Isn't that the Otis family? Oh yeah, Otis Monday. A little Eddie has, and that was the last I saw of him. Until now, father never told me what happened to him. Well, looks like we found out what happened to old Stubbsy. I had a little something to remember him by. Are you telling me my daddy was a traveling salesman? Who eats brains? Oh, Andrew. Oh, damn, that's our son. That's it. I've come to make it up to you, darling. Some flowers and some chuckies. Everyone likes a happy ever after, man. Even for stubs. Oh. Ah. Oh. I did not you destroyed expect my city. that. You killed my family. And now I suppose you want to kill me. Okay. Well, go ahead. Go ahead and try, Dad. 
bringing it on, son. Damn, we killed her. I did not expect that coming. I mean, I guess I kind of did because he's a zombie, but... You're right, I do need shields. Do you want to lend me some? Was that it? Was it that easy? Oh, okay. It was. <laughs> okay. Andy gets to live. We get to go away as happy zombie couple. Robo 2000. Ah, I think we should have just turned him into a zombie because, uh, well, yeah, our son, our son is uh, definitely dead now. I mean, we were dead anyway, but he is, he's dead without coming back. <laughs> And, okay, I'm guessing that's the end of the game. Damn. That was hella enjoyable. Oh my god, what a throwback. I've and we got a trophy as well, hands-on parenting. Oh. oh my god. Very short. But I've had such a fun time playing this game, man. So glad I chose to come back to it, so glad. Man, I've got to say, I've been watching these credits for a few minutes now, and I'm loving the barbershop quartet they got in this game. They are absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, man. Okay, guys, so with the main story now complete, there's only a few miscellaneous trophies remaining before I have to move on to doing my speedrun playthrough and my insane playthrough, um, or hard mode playthrough. Basically, these are the three misc ones that we have left I guess you could technically say four, but I don't count that one. That's more of a grindy one, and we'll probably get that while trying to do these two trophies here. But we're going to be going for these three here. Luckily, these two can be done on the same level, and that level is painting the town red. So we need to be run over by a car, and we also need to use our head to, or the sputum head, to kill ten enemies. Now, I thought it had to be like by blowing it up, but apparently... You can just knock them over and it will kill them. So, um, yeah, we're going to be trying to get those two trophies in this level right here. So, there's apparently a police car that's going to come flying down here. And it was correct. Come on. Hit me, baby. Bam. There we go. Car Daver. Get run over by a vehicle. First miscellaneous trophy out of the way. Very, very easy. Okay, there we go. So, we have our head now. So, there should be eight guys right here yep we know about that eight guys right there and oh i thank you they both come they just volunteered nice so let's see if we can get this first go there we go strike trophy 10 kills with a single sputum head that was a lot easier than i thought it would be i thought it'd be so much harder than that but there we go, we can move on to perhaps one of the harder miscellaneous trophies of the game, if not the hardest miscellaneous trophy of the game. The final miscellaneous trophy is arguably contender for being the most difficult, and that is the It's a Real Groner trophy. To get this trophy, we needed to 100% complete the dance battle on the level Cop Rock. This meant getting a perfect rating for every single round. The dance battle is essentially just a memory game. The police chief will perform four dance moves to the beat of some absolute top quality bangers, which will be represented by the colors on the screen. Although these were originally for Xbox, instead of A, B, X, and Y, just imagine them as X, square, circle, and triangle. There's five rounds in total, including the bonus round, with the first two rounds being the easiest. Round three, the beat will be quicker, but again, not really an issue. Issue. Round 4 is the introduction of double beats which can sometimes throw you off but the bane of my existence getting this trophy was the bonus round. There's nothing intrinsically hard about it, it's a combination of the four colours twice over. But the round is just so long, my brain could at times just not process what I had just seen and the game suffering from input lag in this mission made it quite a difficult trophy to obtain. Now, I spent a fair few hours at this, both the morning I got it and the night before, so here's some of my struggle before the trophy pop. 
Red, Enjoy. yellow, yellow. There we go. I've got this. Yes, come on. Come on. No! There was two, two rounds. Bonus round again. <clears throat> I forgot you had to do it twice. How could I forget the most critical thing? No. I pressed circle, not triangle. I pressed the button. I pressed the, the fucking button. And that was the final round. I can't do it. I can't. That's bollocks. It's it's fucking bollocks. Ah, oh, all of that. Like that's a, like a six, seven minute run at least wasted. Right, back at the bonus round. Compose yourself. Get prepared. <laughs> this is stressing me out. I fucking done it! I done it! Yes! Yes! It's a real groaner. Ah, oh, 100% the dance battle. We thought that was impossible. It is. 99% impossible. We done it. We done it. We done it. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm done. I'm done for the whole morning. That's it. That's me. Jesus. Look at this. I am shaking. I am shaking. I've got earthquake hands. Jesus Christ. I can't believe we've done it. I can't believe we've done it. That's like the hardest trophy done. Well, I hope it's the hardest one because I don't think I can take another one. Now with the miscellaneous trophies finally complete, it was time to turn my attention to the two extra playthroughs that I needed to knock out for their respective trophies. For the first of these two playthroughs, I needed to complete the game within two hours for the Fast Zombies trophy. But after doing a bit of research beforehand, I've discovered that there's a hidden catch. It has to be done in one sitting, which is much easier said than done for some. Now so far in my experience I had been lucky and hadn't actually encountered like any terrible bugs and if I did a simple restart from the checkpoint usually fixed them and also from as far as I can remember I hadn't experienced any crashes so I was going into this with some pretty good confidence that it would be possible although I was still very much worried about the potential of crashing and having to do it all again. Imagine this, you're over an hour into your run, you're nearly at the end of the game, you've got a few missions left, maybe you're even at the final boss and then boom the game crashes and you're kicked to the home screen only to have to restart the game and have it happen over and over again. I have read pretty much horror stories of this exact thing happening to people, making them unable to obtain this trophy due to the game just continuously crashing before managing to complete it, and for many, it was their last trophy for either the Platinum or the 100% of the achievements. Now, as I said, I've been extremely lucky, and I continue to be extremely lucky, as I never encountered any crashes during my speed run and managed to finish it in around about an hour and a half. Now, a few tips for all of you who may be going for this trophy as well. 
The first should be pretty much a given, but do it on easy difficulty. There is absolutely no reason at all to make this trophy or achievement harder for yourself. Absolutely no reason. Easy difficulty is just a must for this. Secondly, avoid all unnecessary combat. There are vast portions of the game that you can just skip the combat entirely simply by running through or around the enemies to the next objective. There's also numerous points throughout the story where enemies will enter through a door that will look behind them, then meaning you have to kill them before you can go through it. But if you're quick enough, you can just run past them and enter the door while they are still coming out, skipping that entire combat section. You want to be constantly on the move. You've got two hours to get through this game. There's absolutely no time to be standing around, taking in the scenery. You don't really have enough time to even plan how you're going to get around certain things. You've just got to go for it and give it your best attempt. Not really much more to say about this, however, apart from being worried that the game was going to crash, it was relatively easy and managed to get the trophy on my first attempt, so all good. That was a big, big stress off of my shoulders. I'm worried because I had to restart level at one point because I got black screened. I could move, I could hear everything, but I just couldn't see anything. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect the trophy. I guess, uh, I guess we just got to wait and find out. Come on. Give me the trophy. Please, please don't say that restarting the level bugs it out. Please don't say we just got bugged out. Trophy. Yes, fast zombies. There we go. First try. Beat the game in under two hours. Okay, so yeah, I was really worried that I wasn't going to get that fast zombies trophy. I had to restart the level, as I was saying. I got hit with a black screen, um, and I could hear audio, I could hear myself moving around, I just couldn't see anything, so I had to restart level, and I was really worried. It, that was all the way back on like the jailhouse rock level, the cop level, prison level, jailhouse level. Um, and I was really worried that I was going to be able to play through the rest of the game and it wouldn't have mattered because at that point it had bugged but no, no, it was fine, we got the trophy only two more trophies left now we need the cryptocurrency trophy for eating 2005 brains I believe yeah, eat 2005 brains and then the Stubbs Otaku trophy where we need to complete the game on an insane playthrough and apparently this is very difficult so uh yeah wish me luck let's get started with the speed run out of the way it was time to move on to our third playthrough for the Stubbs otaku trophy this trophy required us to complete the game on insane difficulty now this difficulty gave me a full sense of security i started this game expecting it to be difficult from the get-go but it wasn't it was easy the enemies didn't do as much damage as i thought they were going to do and i was still relatively strong and overall it didn't actually feel that much harder than playing on normal but as the levels progressed that quickly changed i found myself in situations that felt nigh on impossible to get past there were times that i would have used all of my abilities i had no health i had no zombies for backup and yet the only way forward was by killing a massive group of enemies and it's usually at these points the game would decide to give me a checkpoint absolutely screwing me over in the process and checkpoints are rare so the fact that it chose that time to give me one just boggles my mind the amount of times i contemplated and even actually had to restart the mission just so I could manage myself a bit better and get out of a situation that had absolutely no positive outcome is actually insane. Also something else to mention, this playthrough is when the game decided it was going to chuck all of its crashes at me. As I said, I hadn't experienced any up until this point and then as soon as I had my first one, it just felt like they wouldn't stop. And considering checkpoints are again a rarity on insane, this often put me back a decent portion of the mission. This run took a long time to complete, so don't go into this expecting to complete it along with the Fast Zombies trophy, as that just isn't going to happen. Again, couple of tips for anyone going for this trophy as well. The same combat skips you can use on easy while doing the speed run can be used on insane. They are obviously a lot harder to pull off as you are nowhere near as spongy as you are on easy and you've typically got a bunch of guys shooting at you in the process but if you can pull it off it does cut out a lot of stress and time. 
Secondly, manage your ability usage. Abilities take a lot more brains to regenerate on insane, so save them and try to use them only when you've got no other option or unless you can guarantee it will give you a chance to wipe out a big group of enemies. If you do what I did and use them as soon as you get them, you'll find yourself struggling a hell of a lot. Thirdly, when it comes to boss fights, take your time. You're not going to get them done on your first attempt, and that's okay. Most bosses in the game took me more attempts than I'd like to admit, but as long as you keep to cover to regen health when you can, and so long as you're smart with your attacks, you'll get through them eventually. Now, there's not really much more to say. It gave me some stress. It took some time, but in the end, we eventually got it done. Was that it? We done it. Oh my god. I didn't think we did. I've been at this for a while now. Oh my god. Now we can just watch this play out. We ain't got to worry. Actually, no, we, we have one more trophy left, but that isn't a worry. The main fact is insane is done. Now let's hope this hasn't bugged out. And it's just like going to decide not to give me the trophy. Because this has been absolutely painful. I thought the dance battle was hard, but this, this had some difficulty to it, I can't lie to you. Everyone's dead, happily ever after, give me the trophy, give me the trophy, right now, now, please. Yes, Stubbs Otaku, there we go. Your friends all just read that achievement title, you need help, I do need help after that playthrough, damn. That was difficult, man. One more trophy left though, and that is to eat 2,500, 2,005 brains. That's easy, we can just do another playthrough, do it on easy, and hopefully that comes through jesus christ this final part like i think i had like five missions left i crap you i crap you not my recording says three hours that's took me three hours to do like four missions it's been ridiculous man absolutely ridiculous considering we sped around the game and beat it in two hours and yet it's took three hours to do like four missions crazy absolutely crazy <sighs> glad we got out of the way though so glad. With the insane playthrough now complete, it was time to unlock my final trophy of the game, and this one was going to be a little bit of a grind. I simply needed to go back through the game, either continuing to do full playthroughs or farm a couple of levels for the enemies so I could eat their brains until I reached a total of 2,005 consumed. To be fair, I ran through the game on easy a couple more times and every now and again would load up the slammer level so I could farm the three prisoners at the very start. Not actually a hard trophy to complete, but as there was absolutely no way to track my progress it was just a very long and tedious process that unfortunately did come with its own glitch that could have prevented me from being able to unlock it i've read multiple stories of players eating thousands of brains and not having the trophy pop so that was always on my mind that i was potentially wasting hours consuming brains for them to just simply not count but luckily i didn't encounter any issue like that and after a fair few hours our final trophy finally popped also unlocking us the Platinum Trophy. Whoa. How do you like it? And with that being the Platinum Trophy, this brings us to the end of the video. Apologies for the length of this one, because it's not a very narrative-focused game, I wasn't too sure how I would script out the story to make it more engaging for you guys, and I feel it's a game that you really need to play in order to fully experience and appreciate. I will say though that I am so happy that after over 15 years, I finally made a return to this absolute classic. It is still to this day a very enjoyable and fun game to play and experience so long as you're not going for that 100%. Don't get me wrong, you feel like you've accomplished something big when you have, but it can really take away from the enjoyment factor. But with all that said and done, this now brings us to the end of the video. Again, apologies for the length, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you did, then make sure to hit that like button and share this video around. It really does show your support and your support is always appreciated on my channel. 
be sure to comment down below what you think of Stubbs the Zombie and what was your experience like if you've played it. If you haven't, I urge you to go and play it now. And if you haven't already, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.